Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key of the scroll. Out of skies, warm temperatures, and light winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. I am that kind of talk, friend. That kind of talk. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt! Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the... Why, good day to you, sir. Hello. Believe me, if I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friend... Young I sir, mean... young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking Bronco. Whether you need to lift right or not... Tired, so... The box populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? Hey, you! Andy with a rifle, looking to do your part for Columbia. Man. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Have you ever seen anything Dear like friend, it? Have you ever lost a penny to a those. vending machine? <laughs> With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? I bet he could lift that entire booth over his head. Strength is well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the Raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always... Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system, then we gotta have the best. Madame Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. See about now that. I'm feeling but I'm gonna take me a And now the nineteen twelve raffle has officially begun. Hey, mister. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly? 
There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! It was me! It was all me! Please! Please! Please, what are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Looks like we've got a shy one here. We've got something for you. We've got to do something about Wait! It's him! Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. Show them what we got planned, boys! you come, Stock. You sell them paradise and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who lease us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. 